looking at these things right now, and we'll have our views. Senator, if I may, that's why, um, that's why I've come back to focus on um, the evidentiary base. Uh, Senator, if I can just answer, make a reference to a point raised by Senator Gallagher too. Uh, I've recently written to the police commissioners in every state and territory to see whether we can establish a dialogue on how, um, how jurisdictions are dealing with um, remotely piloted aircraft in their respective jurisdictions to, because we have a regulatory framework um, and there are a range of other things that we know are going on and we need to uh, see whether we can have a meeting of the minds. So that's something that we've done in answer to your question. It may not flow down to the instructions in the backyard, but it's a start. Chair, if I may, because I'm really, really, you know, we have a saying in the trucking industry is that taking the pee. And I feel like someone's taking the pee out of me. But anyway, back on 10th of October 2016, the Minister announced that the Civil Aviation Safety Authority would oversee a review of aviation safety regulation in relation to the operation of the drones. Correct? That is correct, Senator. As we heard earlier on from Mr Wolf, uh, that uh, you're still doing the review? Uh, Senator, we haven't started the review. No, that's right. Okay. Um, so um, if anyone wanted to contribute to it, how the heck do they contribute? There's nothing on your website? Uh, pardon? Sorry, Senator, I missed if that If anyone question. wanted to contribute to this review, like submissions and their Senator, thoughts and theories, how do they do it? There's nothing on your website. Who's, Senator, who, when who's we, driving this? When we establish the terms and agree the terms of reference which are being developed now, um, there will be that opportunity. Um, let me put this into context, if I may. Um, that was the first day I started in CASA. I remember it well. Um, 10th of October. The, uh, the minister made that announcement. A few weeks after that, the, uh, this committee determined that it was going to undertake its own inquiry, which was going to be completed, I think, by April of this year. No chance. We've uh, got so much more to do. Uh, but, that was, but that point was then early in the new year, if I recall, this committee determined that the committee was going to defer its findings until December. At this stage, couldn't be longer. Uh, it could be longer. Um, so as a, con as a consequence... The, more, the longer we go in terms of gathering evidence on um, what is occurring in that drone space since the change in regulations in September, the better position we will be in to evaluate the evidence and the safety case and provide both advice to government and hopefully advice back into this <coughs> committee process as well. So, so I admit, uh, acknowledge completely that we haven't, start, we haven't commenced this work. We are working on the terms of reference now uh, and it will commence shortly. But, but it was a conscious decision uh, not to do so. It will commence shortly. Why will it commence shortly? Because you've just said you're not going to do it because we're doing our work. We no, could no, be because, going to December. Because we might be going longer. Well, How do I believe but, that? But, Senator, your, your, your inquiry, if I may, has been deferred uh, until December, I understand. At this stage. Okay, so we're moving into the second half of the year. We need to establish the terms of reference. It will take us a couple of months to do that, to actually to actually converge, to do the review and converge with the end of your inquiry. Um, yep. We're not, uh, I've got a 100% commitment, Senator. The Minister told us to undertake an inquiry and that's exactly what we'll do. Well, let me, let me help you out, Mr Cameron, for your information. You see, this is my, my take on it. Mm -hmm. CASA was going to de, uh, water down the regulations to make it easier. If it hadn't have been for this committee, it would have just gone, hopefully, it would have just sailed through nice and quietly. Uh, Senator, and I reckon this is just a uh, yank on the chain. Oh, my goodness me, the, mi the ministers come to you guys because you have its incredible power that CASA has over ministers. You must have some fairy dust you sprinkle on them because they all believe every word that you say. Senator, all, all and I now the minister's been put... I'm going to give you a chance. The minister got put <coughs> under the pump. So he says, all right, minister, we'll do an inquiry. She'll be right. Go announce it. You haven't even done the terms of reference and you're going to try and tell us it's going to be done in a couple of months. I've got no faith in this. Well, Senator, uh, the, the, uh, the inquiry will be undertaken. Um, we said it was yep. going to be undertaken. It will be undertaken. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You said back on 10th of October too. I think no, I just uh, let me... Senator, I didn't <coughs> say that then. No, you didn't, but Cassa did. Well, you got the um, minister to say it. got the minister to say it. The minister announced the inquiry anyway, on the 10th of The fairy dust was working well. It's still working well. Let me just put this here very quickly through you, Chair, if I may. I've got an article here from the New Zealand Herald on the uh, 23rd of May. Fancy that today. Anyway, they're talking, they're, 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 they've interviewed the, uh, it's a good segue, because Senator uh, Fawcett would know this mob, I assume. It's the New Zealand Airline Pilots Association. See, they're really concerned. And they're saying, and I'm quoting them, our current methods, the CAA and Airshare websites and brochures we've come with, RPAS bought at New Zealand retail outlets, are not reaching enough RPAS users. So they're obviously in front of us. They're, they've done this. I don't know how long they've been doing it. 
It goes on to say the New Zealand Airline Pilots Association says urgent action is needed. That's the pilots. Not shiny bums sitting in committee hearings being senators or bureaucrats, all right? But then it goes down here to a uh, paragraph. And this is what the Pilots Association say. Currently, they, being the bureaucrats or the government, offer little or, or the regulations, offer little or no protection to either other RPS users or the public. As in Australia, they are woefully inadequate. They neither accurately identify current or emerging risks, nor offer a sound framework for the safe operation of these devices. What do the Kiwis know that we don't? Uh, Senator, I couldn't answer that question except to say that's, that's, the, that's their opinion. Um, yeah. I, there you go. They're entitled to an opinion. I've got one leading question.